So I currently look like an ink blot test. That's exactly how this looks to me. But today is the first day I'm actually feeling sort of better. It's Monday. I went to back to the hospital yesterday. Yes, I'm gonna to talk to you for like two minutes with this mask on. Um, yesterday I went back to the hospital because they found something in a culture sample that I took on Friday when I was at the hospital. And the whole right side of my face was completely swollen. Um, still really swollen. My tonsil area here. And it went into my ear, my whole mouth, my head and my tonsil is about the size of a golf ball. So they had to give me fluids, antibiotic, IV, some kind of anti-inflammatory IV medication. So I was at the hospital for a few hours yesterday again, had a CAT scan, because they, they were wondering if it became an abscess. I was very lucky that it did not, because I would have had to be admitted and had that drained. I'm talking very slowly because still very very swollen and I can't really vlog that and this was sent to me from Amazon like weeks ago um, it's by Nylea N-Y-L-E-A products for the beautiful blackhead remover mask 60 grams and this is supposed to be one of those blackhead pore removing masks you're supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes so I just removed that mask and boy did it hurt <laughs> coming off um, I did see like a few like little whiteheads but not really blackheads but that could just be my skin so I'll still link it down below if you guys are interested but this I have been using for the last two days and boy can my skin use some probiotics and this smells so good like coconuts it's from Pacifica it's super hydrating it has coconut water and it's vegan um, and it just feels so good on the skin so this is something I definitely wanted to mention to you guys I received like a month ago and I'm just starting to try out but I really am liking it so I'm starting to finally feel a little bit better today and I got some packages in the mail and I just wanted to share them with you guys Sorry if my voice still sounds a bit off, but believe me, the swelling has started to go down and I'm so excited. And I'm actually catching up on some YouTube videos right now and still relaxing, still taking it easy. All right, so the first box here is from Ofra Cosmetics. Nikki Tutorials came out with a whole new Glow Queen, Glow Baby Glow line. And there are three beautiful new highlights. Look at this icy one right here. Oh my goodness. I will definitely swatch them for you. This is in Glazed Donut. Love that name. This one's definitely a bit deeper. Um, and it is called Blind the Haters. <laughs> Super cute name. And then this one is like more of a champagne. Glow Goals. And then the lip really spe speaks to me too. This liquid lipstick. Look how beautiful this color is. I love that. This is called Duchess. So I have a 30% off coupon code. If, if you guys are wanting to try Ofra Cosmetics, I've talked about them many a time here on my channel. I'll swatch these in a moment. Elf Cosmetics also sent me a really sweet little goodie box. Here's what they said. And then it looks like there are two highlight and bronzer and a highlight and blush duos. They're baked products. Then this is a matte to metal eye, eye primer in glimmering gold. This is a um, blush and it's coming off, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. It's coming off a little bit more like a bronzer color but it does have a bit more of a um, tangerine coloring to it and it's called Glow. And then there's a pencil in here. <laughs> it's a really cool pencil though. And then a hydrating bubble mask, which is newer to their line. So that's pretty cool. Then Sky Organic sent me their castor oil. And I've heard really good things about this for helping to grow hair and nails. Um, yeah, so I might start trying to use this as like a conditioning treatment before I wash my hair every time see if it will help me grow my hair back because as you guys know if you've been with me for a little bit now um, ever since my accident well actually even before that I was having issues with thinning hair so I might have to try that oh and they're saying to use it for your eyelashes to grow your eyelashes like naturally hmm 
Apply the serum regularly and to grow long lashes, huh? Very cool. And then this was a complete and utter shock. I got PR from Hourglass. And I sometimes do get PR from them, but it just comes very far and in between. And you guys know I just did that review for them. Um, well, I didn't do it for them. I bought it myself and, <laughs> and did the review for you guys for the new holiday palette that came out. Well, this is also part of their new holiday line. This is a set of three of their new lips. So let me open this and show you. So they're called the Confession Refillable Lipstick Set. They're three new exclusive shades in this set. Here are the names of the shades. These are supposed to be very saturated color, satin finish, smudge and feather free, ultra slim lipstick. All right, so here is how it comes. Almost looks like those old fashioned, um, I hate to say it, but like the cigarette cases, you know? Not that I ever smoked, I'm just saying. That's what it kind of looks like to me, how it flips up. And then, so their new lipsticks are refillable. So you get one, it's hard to do one-handed, sorry. Look at how fancy! Oh my gosh, and this even reminds me of kind of like the fancy like cigarettes, right? Is it just me? Or like, the, I'm talking about like 1920s kind of era, you know? Okay, anyways. I know someone else is thinking it, but I'm still gonna get crap for it. <laughs> so this is how it looks like. It's, it has a nice weight, this bullet. It's really cool. So here it is when you take the cap off. This is the shade My Own Desire. As you can see, it says the name right there on the side. And these do pop out. And I'll show you that in a moment, how you change that. But here is the swatch of that. That looks so up my alley. And here is the second shade. It's a bit deeper, You Are My. And then the lightest of the shades. Try not to hurt these. This one is True Love Means. And see, so you can put these into here. They're the refillables. I'm getting it everywhere. All right, there they are swatched. They seem super creamy. Can't wait to try them. Well, this just arrived as I was putting all the other goodies away. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Look at this from L'Oreal. Oh my gosh. It's actually a really nice box. And then it says face, eyes, lips. So let's open face first. Oh my goodness. I love the infallible line. So this makes me so excited, you guys. This is their infallible Pro Glow. Is this their powder foundation? Looks like their powder foundation and a new Pro Glow concealer. All the shades. I don't know if it's coming off true in camera, the, the different, all the different shades, but that is so awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, the next row says eyes. Ooh, some new shadows. These are so beautiful, the metallics. And then it looks like these are some super slim eyeliners. And then these are their shape and fill brow styles. Ooh, I can't wait to try the brow. I'm in, I'm need, I'm in need of a new brow pencil. And then lips. Oh my gosh, what are these? The Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These look so beautiful. I love the packaging. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then they gave me all the information, which they always do, which is really, really helpful in giving you guys all the best info. So thank you so much to L'Oreal. Oh my gosh, I'll be trying these out very soon, but this was just a, a quick sneak peek for you guys to see. If you don't watch Tika, here's her channel on, well, it's Instagram, totally Tika. This is her live. She's making caramel apples and she is cracking me up and I'm just loving it. And she's and making me like, want to make caramel like, apples for my family now for Halloween. These are so cute. This is a sanity mission. As you can see, I can barely move my jaw on the side. My music was about to start. I have my hair up in this messiest bun you've ever seen in your life. I haven't been out of the house for almost an entire week. 
recovering from all the swollenness and everything. And by God, I'm going to Target right now. By God, I just need to get out of the house. Don't worry, I'm not contagious anymore. I'm on antibiotics. I'm not gonna get anyone sick by going to Target. Don't worry, it's more about my sanity right now at the moment, and that's why I'm going to Target. Now I gotta let you go because I'm driving, but do you see that beautiful sunset behind me? It's, six, it's like 6.30 at night, but I need to get my butt out of the house. All right, here's my little Target haul. Non-food and food items. So let's start with the non-food items. So two of these things is because of Karen and Lauren from Two Orchids, and if you follow them, you probably know. This mum scent from Mrs. Myers, they always talk about it, and I never am able to find it, and this year I did, so I'm really excited. It smells very, very good. I have the peony. I'm working through that from the spring, and I really love that. So I got the mum, and they also had the mum multi-surface, and I, let's just say, once I'm done being sick, I have a lot of cleaning and disinfecting to do, so I thought this will be nice. So I got those two. I got some more Clorox wipes for obvious reasons. I got a real small one of the Downy Infusions. This is the Amber Blossom. It's like a fall um, scent. These are little things you put in your wash to make your clothing smell really good. It's $4.99 for the smaller one. I think it's like 10 bucks for the big one. I decided to get the smaller just to see if I like this scent because I really miss my Downy little unstoppables for my laundry. So I got that. And then, yes, I got a candle. I swear if anyone says anything <laughs> to me. This was only $5, and for some reason, this scent was flying off the shelf. There were none of the big size, which I didn't want a big size anyways, but this is the Cinnamon Pumpkin Muffin. It smells so good, you guys. I might be... Oh, my goodness. I can't explain it. It smells like you've been baking all day, but then it's not overly sickly sweet. I think I know why everyone has this flying off the shelves and I'm pretty sure this is a newer scent. I don't remember seeing this last year so I decided to grab that since it was five dollars. All right then food wise I got the Nosa pumpkin yogurts but I got the little minis because it's just like better portion size so I got a case of four of those. After watching Tika's caramel apple video, she used these for her caramel apples, and I saw them at Target, so I, they were on sale, so I decided to get them. They're caramel bits, so they're already pre-unwrapped, you know, and so I'm going to do caramel apples this year, and I saw these little sticks. They look like little branches to put for your caramel apples. They were $2.99, so I got those. At some point, I'll do those on my channel. These two things are for Try It Tuesday. Mama B and I are accumulating a few things for our fall Try It Tuesday. Mama B already found the apple pie <clears throat> Oreos. <coughs> Mama B already found the apple pie Oreos, and then I just found the pumpkin spice ones at Target. And we did try a different kind of pumpkin one last year, I believe, but they weren't the same, I don't think. So I got these, and then I got the pumpkin spice caramels. So one of you told me about these, and I found them at Target today. So I got those, and then these are not for Try It Tuesday. I already know I love these. We've tried these in the past, the Belvita pumpkin spice. Little um, breakfast biscuits. So that's all I got at Target, and I am now so exhausted, and I'm kind of like feverish. I'm a little sweaty, so I think I'm gonna go relax now, but it was definitely well worth it. This is my little buddy this last week. Been diffusing peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, lavender. I really need to get some thieves. Everyone keeps telling me that that's the best, but it's right next to my sofa, and I move it, actually. I need another one for my room because I keep moving it into my room and my living room. But that's been my little buddy this week. So this is real life. I've been looking this much of a hot mess all week. And I really want to clean my makeup room. I have so many packages that, um, yeah, these are my PJs. I know I'm looking super stylish. I know you guys are super jealous of my look right now. <laughs> 
but I have so many things like piled in the corner right now that I've gotten that I haven't shown you guys and I know I've already this vlog has already been me unboxing things this is just water with a little bit of fruit punch in it I'm trying to drink it tongue because my it's still really bad but I want to show you guys these things so I can start photographing them, putting them on Instagram, using them, putting them away. I hate having things just this everywhere. really cute like little picnic bag from Sunny Life. And it's like a cooler bag. But it's full of their Frizzies line. And I've used some of these products before and I've really liked it. So some hairspray. Got some Curl Reviving Mousse. I haven't styled my hair curly in a hot second. More Dream Curl Styling Spray, Air Dry Waves. Looks like a lot of these are for curly hair. Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And then a Touch Up Cream. And then this is their Extra Strength Serum. Eliminates frizz. Next I have this package. And... This is their Base Mascara Perfecto. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. And then inside here, I can't wait to do a picture with these little cute butterflies in here. Look at this. Little butterfly like cutouts. They're so pretty. Don't even wanna throw those away. And this is the actual base. It's a mascara base from them. But, I mean, everything they do is luxe. Look at this, like this beautiful baby pink. Are you kidding me? This screams Melissa. That's just like... If I had a makeup line, I would want everything to look like. So, I've tried one of the highlighting palettes from Kevin Aquan recently, and I fell in love. And this is the Capri Neo Bronzer. So luxurious, comes in this little velvet pouch. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Packaging is beautiful. Oh my goodness. So it's like a blush, highlight blush to bronze. Let's put that in front of my face because they're powders. I can't explain it. It's just so like luxury soft velvet oh it's so beautiful so that's like it mixed all together that's just the highlight that's just the bronzer that is going to be so beautiful so i also got this cashmere on lip pot from emily cordon i believe is how you say this beautiful packaging and I have her actually already tried this. I'm not gonna put it on right now because I don't want to stick my sick fingers in my beautiful new products, but look at that. Look at this. Don't you just want that on your vanity? It's perfection. And it smells really nice too. Like very sweet. And you can see that I've already kind of dipped into it a little bit. It's very hydrating. You definitely don't want to use too much of it or it's overboard for sure. So small amount goes a long way and it does come with a little applicator. I'm just going to sit here till that light comes back because uh -uh. be playing me. I'm really excited because Artiste sent me some of their brushes to try out and I've tried a lot of the dupes for these brushes. They're oval like series brushes, but I've never tried them myself. So this is the oval six brush and then they also sent me a set. Um, these are from Octoly and Artiste. Look at this really nice set. Um, let me open it so I can show you guys. It's their Elite collection and I have four more brushes in here. So this is the liner circle oval three oval four. So these are kind of like all face brushes and liner. And then I have this one as well. So I'm going to be trying them out and I'll tell you what I think. You guys, it started pouring all of a sudden. I don't know if you can see that, but.
Holy moly. I'm not complaining, I love it. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. <laughs> Oh, I'm blaming it on the sickness. I'm blaming it on the sickness and apparently my insanity because I'm in this ridiculously long line right now for Chick-fil-A. I haven't I haven't eaten like substance, like food. I've been having smoothies and things where I don't have to open my mouth very wide. Don't even don't even get gross with that. <laughs> so yeah, I drove in my PJs. Look at my PJs, my fancy PJs, my kimono. Yeah, look at those PJs. You know they are stylin'. I'm a fruitcake, if you guys didn't know this already. I think I just talked to you guys for a little bit in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru while I'm waiting. Um, also, I watched American Horror Stories last night, the second episode. Whoa, mama, it is really... It's scaring me this this season because it's all about like clowns and it's all like set in modern day America like right now after the election and people going like ooh because there's a lot of crazies out there including me kind of I guess but you know we all have a little crazy in us but these people on the show are like next level and they're really it's really freaking me out and yesterday I could barely bring my trash cans outside the house um, because if you're watching the show, it's kind of set outside in the dark. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go outside by myself right now. All right, enough of me talking because I can feel my side of my mouth starting to cramp up. I'll talk to you after I get my Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so this just went down pre-ordered my iPhone 8 Plus, and it's gonna be the gold 256 gigabyte. What the heck though to, um, I'm covering my phone number by the way and, and the price of my phone because no one needs to see that. Um, but what the heck <laughs> with Apple, it was either 64 gig or the 256 gig, nothing in between. And so I had to get the 256 because 64 gig is not enough. Right now I think my iPhone 7 I have a hundred and some gigs. So anyways, just thought I'd show you guys that I pre-ordered that. Also, Christmas has arrived with Too Faced. I'm not really that into it though, surprisingly. Um, here's the main palette, and I know they have one with like a planner. I'm just not feeling it. Anyone else? Um, I am, however, really into the gingerbread scented melted matte. I don't know about that color on me though. It's probably not gonna look good on me. But I really kinda want it just because it has cute little gingerbread men on it and it smells like gingerbread. So that's the only thing I'm tempted by but I'm not gonna get it for right now. But just thought I'd let you know that it's already happening guys. Holiday palettes are arriving. Second time this week. Second time this week, you guys, that I'm already watching Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> I'm about to straighten my hair. I actually washed it last night. Miracle, I'm about to look like a human being again. Okay, so I wanna show you what I've been using to kind of give some more fullness to my root area. See how it's thinned out just a little bit in my part here? So I've been using the Topic, and this one is actually, um, this is like an applicator that can come in a kit if you're interested or you can just get the fibers themselves. They're hair building fibers and I have it in the dark brown. So I just use this and kind of, it's going to be really hard to do it with my right hand. But I'm, I'm going to have to do it and then show you the results after. But I just pump this and the fibers come out of the little applicator here. And it becomes really nice and precise because of the little nozzle here. And the fibers come out and I kind of just like press and rub them in. You can use hairspray. <coughs> excuse me to kind of secure them a little bit more, but I'll show you the after, after I apply them. Do you see how natural that looks? Like, it matches my hair so perfectly and it just gives a little bit more fullness in my crown area where I have some thinning. So if you guys can see that, I've been loving these. I did receive these um, for review purposes from Octilly 
and from Topic, but I'm really, really loving it, and it's so fast and easy for me, and it does not rub off either. It just stays looking like that. All right, guys, I just got done filming this eye look. Look at that highlight also. That is the new Candy Johnson highlight, the I Want Candy highlight. And then I have a combo of the lips from the I Want Candy collection, these two on my lips right now. And then I use the I Want Candy eyeshadow palette. The lighting is blowing it out a little bit. It looks way better in the other camera, but hopefully you can see. So this tutorial will be up on my channel hopefully later on this week. For you guys, I'm wearing like fall clothing. I have these earrings on from Joel Mints. Um, and I think I'm going to try and film my empties right now, but I need to clean up a little bit first. And then if I'm feeling up to it, I might be going like fall shopping and I'll take you guys with me because I want to end this vlog on a really fun note because I know the rest of the vlog has been me looking a hot mess. Um, being sick and just like not fun, you know, so I want the rest of this this vlog to be a little bit more fun And I'm just feeling so much better Thank you guys so much for all your prayers and like people commenting on snapchat and stuff I'm super active you guys on Instagram and snapchat Twitter. I am kind of as well So if you don't follow me on social media, I always have everything linked down below for you guys um, so make sure to check me out there. I don't really do Insta stories as often as I do Snapchat, but then I do post a lot of pictures on Instagram. So I don't know. You see my lollipop in the background? I had to keep it. All right, I'm going to film one more video. What time is it? Let's see what time it is. It is currently 12.012. .12. I have the New York skyline on the back of my phone because I miss New York so much. Really wish I was going to Gem Beauty New York this year, but it just didn't work out. Um, maybe next year. All right. I'm just so happy to have makeup on right now when I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. So my hair is up already because I was sweating bullets. <laughs> it's so hot. Well, it's only 94. I want to say hi to everybody. Yeah, hi, Lizama everybody. Me. Haven't seen you in a while. We have to make some cooking in the hive, right, Melissa? Oh my gosh, we haven't done cooking in the hive and I don't even remember the last time. I know, we totally need Since... to make something like fall. Oh yeah. Something with pumpkin in it. Mm, yeah, something fall related for sure. If you guys have any good ideas, let me know. I'm really feeling this eye look. Did I film the tutorial? Oh yeah. You my look... camera's still not working properly though. Oh dang, that's not good. You guys. I love you is all I have to say because you have no idea what a struggle it is to film now. Every couple, like every minute or two, my camera shuts off. Oh my gosh, are you kidding I'm me? not kidding. So every time I'll be like, la la la, talking and then off. And I'll be la, like, la off, la la Okay, la, then off. I have to wait for it to reset, turn it back on. Oh. So filming takes double the amount of time now and editing takes double the amount of time because I have like 50 clips instead of like three clips. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. I can't I can't afford to get a new camera, so oh, I'm just working with it. Um, Lip Class Leslie, if you guys know her channel, I'll link her down below. She suggested to me to reformat my memory card and I did that and it did jack crap, <laughs> unfortunately. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'll try and like invest in a new memory card. Like maybe the memory card is completely like it's yeah, already try a new memory card. I don't know. I've tried everything other than that, so I oh. guess I'll try a new. Looks like we're card. going to Best Buy. No, that's boring. Look. We're gonna go look for fall stuff. Oh no! Yay! Hold gonna... on to your wallets, folks. No, I'm not gonna go crazy. I really am not, cause I can't, cause I'm gonna go to Disney soon. But um, I'm gonna go to Kirkland maybe, cause I have a coupon. Oh boy. 20% off everything. Oh, dying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe Joanne's, maybe? Maybe. They have cute fall stuff sometimes. Maybe. Um, maybe Home Goods? Maybe Home Goods. Maybe TJ Maxx's. Maybe something. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you later.
All right, guys, so we went to Kirkland Home and Joanne's. Had some stuff and there. Yeah, they had some really cute stuff at Kirkland. It's just not anything that I want for my decor. It had a lot of like reds and oranges and really beautiful stuff, just not for my home. And they had a lot of cute Halloween stuff too. I don't decorate for Halloween really. I only you decorate do. for fall. You do, but not as crazy. Yeah. You decorate every time. I don't I don't think there's any season you don't decorate for. Yeah. And then Joanne's had some really cute stuff too. I didn't go crazy though. I found a really, um, really beautiful florals for 50% off. And I put them in this. Um, and look what I got. Look what I got. I'll show you when I get home. I got, because my house is country, a Christmas. Let's see if, I don't know if they can see that good. Hold oh. on. It looks like branches. It's so cute, you All guys. All I need now is a cabin. <laughs> Yeah, so we had to grab them now because they were thirty percent off. So cute. So, and then yeah, I, I got a a couple things because I'm gonna be making caramel apples. I think I told you oh, guys that yeah. I was inspired by Tika's live the other day, so I'm gonna be making caramel. Go Tika! Apples are so pretty, and yeah, that's it. We're gonna get some lunch now at Wendy's, and then just real quick because we can't stop. We have to keep going. Got to keep shopping. There's no time for stopping. <laughs> I have a few things behind me I want to share with you what I got today. So I went to Walgreens specifically to get this little guy right here. Um, Tika did this really cute idea and made the skeleton into the cutest skeleton ever. I'll maybe insert a picture or, oh my gosh, I'm sweating, it's so hot. Um, I'll either insert a picture or just check out her Instagram. And so I'm gonna create one too because I'm gonna have like a few people over for like a little Halloween thing. So I wanted to create one of my own. So 20 inch skeleton, ended up picking up at Walgreens. And then to go along with that, I picked up some ribbon like cute check ribbon that's like um orange and like tan and then a pink sharpie and you'll understand why if you see that picture if you saw her live on instagram and then i'll also talk about it on my channel once like i create it probably next week i also bought some twine because i also bought a wreath at michael's which you guys will see in my fall decor video i just hung the wreath up in it's like an indoor wreath um and i'm going to be doing my fall decor home tour probably i'm going to film it next week so it'll be up pretty soon so be on the lookout for that um i also got these double ears are they not so cute and they're so comfortable they're so cute. They were like $2 at Michael's. Um, I might do like a, a look, like a devilish look. I'm definitely doing like a vampire-esque kind of um, tutorial this year for Halloween. I have a really good like idea for it for an eye look. It'll be like a very wearable vampire look. And then maybe I'll do like a devil as well um but i just thought those were so cute and at work since like i work at a pediatric dental office we get to wear like halloween kind of themed outfits and stuff so i thought this would be super easy to wear to work like just like a red a red top and these ears and like a red lip we went to home goods and tj maxx and i've been on the mad hunt for this pumpkin this specific pumpkin and when you see my home tour, literally all my fall decor is pumpkins. I went pumpkin crazy this year. I'm just pumpkin crazy in general. So like my pump pillows are pumpkin, like everything is pumpkin. But hopefully you guys don't care that much. But look at this pumpkin. It was only $14 at TJ Maxx as well. And it has pearls. Is this not a Cinderella pumpkin? If you've ever seen one before in your life. I love her. I don't know where I'm putting her yet. I might, hmm, I was thinking I might end up putting her in my bedroom, but I don't know. But I will find a special place for her because she's so very beautiful. So I got her. And then at Joanne's, I told you guys, um, I got some other things at Joanne's 
to, um, oh, I got these blings at Michael's for the skeleton too. You'll find out why later. But I got a few things for my caramel apples that I'm gonna be making at Joanne's, which that's not really of interest to you guys. But like I told you, I got some really beautiful florals for 50% off at Joanne's. Um, they're called Blooming Autumn Bouquets. And I got, they're three separate little bouquets. Aren't these so beautiful? You will definitely see these beautiful flowers on my Instagram at some point. Um, but I also got this mason jar. It's like silver speckled mason jar at Joann's too. Because I still wanted to incorporate my coloring with these fall colors. Isn't that so beautiful? And then I bought some ribbon. All of this was really inexpensive, by the way, because it was all on sale. I bought this ribbon that I'm going to tie around the jar as well. And I think I'm gonna put these florals in my bedroom, because I think they would fit the best. Oh, they're so pretty. I can't get over myself with these devil horns on. It's appropriate. <laughs> But aren't these so beautiful? I don't know, I love them. They kind of have like a velvety feel to them too. They're so pretty. I could look at these forever. Okay, enough about that. So that's um, I got these sprinkles that have ghosts for my candy apples. You'll figure out why later. I love this jar too, it's so pretty. And then I got another pumpkin. <laughs> but this one's gonna be like, um, I'm thinking either in my entryway or on the floor in my living room area here. This is literally Cinderella's pumpkin carriage. Are you kidding me right now? It's glittery too, I don't think it's coming off on camera. But it is covered in silver glitter. And then look at this beautiful stem. Like, are you kidding me with that? It's literally Cinderella's pumpkin. Oh God, I just got glitter on my face probably. I've been getting glitter all over myself with this pumpkin today. So yeah, that's all I got at Home Goods. Pumpkin, pumpkin at Home Goods, pumpkin at TJ Maxx, and then a bunch of like Halloween fun supplies that I'm going to be using to get kind of crafty for Halloween and I'm really excited about it. All right guys, I think I'm gonna let you go because this vlog is probably gonna be over 30 minutes long, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for sticking through me looking crazy for the most part of this vlog, being sick and not feeling well. And I can't wait to share more here on my channel for fall. I have so many fall themed videos planned for you guys this year. Um, tutorials and my fall home tour and recipes. And yeah, I'm just so, so excited. So I will see you guys later in the week. Love you.